Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to another new video. So in today's video, we'll be looking at Haze Blue. So Haze Blue is um, a, another color, yet another color in the uh, Chamin Corridum Aquarel Super Granulation uh, Haze Series Haze series color. So we have seen a few uh, in the course of the few weeks. Um, so this color is made from uh, pigment uh, PY43. PB29 and PBR7. So we will look at this uh, combination later and how we can actually mix it in, in, in the later part of the video. And if you look at the pigment information um, over here, you will notice that it has a, a transparent square, meaning it's transparent. Um, and it has a good light fastness with uh, four stars. And it's a semi-staining color. And it's of course granulating. So if we look at the uh, swatch that I've done on the far left, uh, you will see that um, if you compare the two lines, the top line being before painting and the bottom line being the after painting, you don't really see very much difference. Um, there's not much of a difference in the in the intensity of the, the dark black lines. Um, and normally when I do a swatch, um, I would do a, a, a top, top, um, I would use a thicker mixture at the top and then uh, you know at the bottom it's kind of uh, more diluted. So from here you would actually see there is a good separation of uh, the two or the of the pigments. Um, and if we examine the uh, pigment, the, the paint in water test, you actually see um, that the, 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 the darker the bigger P, PB29 particles will drop down. And, and it's surrounded by the aura or you know the ring of that yellowish pigment, probably the PY43 and a PBR7. And the PBR7 may be mixed with the blue. So yeah, that, that we can't be sure. But when we look at the paint in water test, uh, the water in paint test, um, you, you actually see that backflow. And this looks really, really beautiful um, as that, that paint just separates out into, uh, you know, into its components. So this is quite a nice separation, if I must say. A lot of the, it's more yellowish, ochreish kind of uh, uh, um, color coming out um, and not really brown. So let's, uh, let's do the uh, scrub, scrub test uh, to, to kind of uh, see if it's... Uh, actually a staining color so as usual just take a bit of water scrub it out uh, with a synthetic brush to see if it's staining so according to um, our uh, pigment information it's kind of semi staining so I was able to scrub out some colors and um, but it doesn't does not restore the uh, this area to to the to the paper color so it's yes uh, I would say semi semi staining Right, so um, let's look at the similar colors. We do have several that I would actually bring up. Um, one that is pretty close is actually the uh, Daniel Smith uh, Kia Night Genuine. Um, so as you can see from, I'm not, not sure if you can see it from here, um, but this color over here uh, is actually kind of, it, it has kind, some kind of particle, like maybe mica or something, or maybe a particle, uh, you can actually see, see the shimmering um, particles in there. So um, that's, I guess, the, the difference um, between this one and, and, and our haze blue. So it's pretty close, if I, I, I may say so. Um, and of course, uh, we do have the other two that I have uh, brought out brought up last week when I went through Haze Indigo. So Haze Indigo and Shire Grey, they are another two colors that are quite close, but they are darker, darker gray colors. We have another color, which is Tundra Blue. Tundra Blue is quite similar in the pigments used, um, but Tundra Blue probably has more ultramarine blue, so it's actually bluer. Um, but it does kind of, uh, you know, it does separate out in a very similar fashion because it has that brown and that, that blue pigment that, that separates out. So that's, that's what I have for uh, the similar colors, um, colors that we can find um, that's similar to, to haze blue. So let's uh, look at the mixtures. So if you mix this color with the uh, 12 colors of the color wheel, um, yeah, generally, uh, my general comment is that it, it desaturates the color, makes them darker, makes them less bright. You like a muted color scheme, um, you can consider using this uh, when you, you, you mix it. Um, and it's good for, I think, uh, shadows and water bodies. Of course, shadow haze colors are really nice for shadows. Um, and of course, because it's blue, it's probably nice for like a far away uh, or, or, you know, a deep uh, blue, uh, deep water body kind of uh, uh, painting.
And how do we mix this? So this is made, as you can see, it's made from PY43, PB29 and PBR7. So PB39, as we all know, is ultramarine blue, it's granulating blue pigment. And um, for PY43 and PBR7, I consider them together because in the uh, Shermin, uh, Shermin colors, uh, in the series of Shermin colors, they do have a mixture uh, and they, it's called the, the granulating one is raw umber. So it's made up PY43 and PBR7. So this is why I picked this one from Shermin uh, for that mixture. And this is what I got. I think um, the blue is a little bit red, so I may you may have to choose a, a ultramarine blue that is uh, probably less uh, less red, the the the, the, the uh, lighter version of ultramarine blue. Because as we know, ultramarine blue there are actually two uh, different shades. Uh, the French ultramarine blue, the darker one, and the light lighter one, which is just ultramarine blue. So you may actually choose the the one that is less less red. Or uh, alternatively, you could actually look for the PY43 and a PBR7 separately, and you try to get that mixture. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, how would I recommend getting this color? Um, it is. I think you you probably there isn't a need to unless you really love this because um, ultramarine blue is a very common color, and um, in place of raw umber you could actually use uh, your raw sienna um, with uh, maybe a PBR seven uh, maybe a umber color. Those you know if you mix them in a particular you know a mix a ratio you might get you might try to you can mix you can tweak tweak around with that ratio and you might be able to get something like that. So um, those colors like the raw, um, raw sienna um, and, and the uh, umber colors, they are pretty pretty uh, common, so common colors. So you can actually try to mix this one on your own. So um, yeah, let's see how I use this in a short front painting. And this is uh, main primarily over here at the top of the uh, or the second level. Um, I use it neat and, and I did play around the water um, to see if you know, whether I can create more texture when I change increase uh, you know change the water um, addition um, and, and also diluted it quite a bit uh, along the pillar so you can actually the column so they can actually see uh, the separation and actually over here which is uh, uh, the front part um, of the of the shop um, then for mixing uh, what I did was I actually I use um, two colors mahogany brown so mah mahogany brown i don't i didn't really use a brown in in the in the in the color wheel test uh, uh mixing test um, but it was probably similar to this partly the orangey red region so this is what i've done so effectively effectively i was making a darker gray and a, a more uh, like a shed, like a like a deep 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 brown uh, gray color for the interior of the shop uh, with the mahogany brown for the bin um, I did try to use it for shadow. So on, on this on, in this part, I mix it. So in the bin, I use uh, the phthalo green. Um, and, and this was what I, I, I mixed it a little bit more on the shadow side. So you get something like this shade and it, it becomes uh, like darker over here for that shadow. And then of course, I, I dilute it uh, with more phthalo green and, and that becomes this uh, the, the, the surface where, where the, the light um, shined on. So um, yeah, that's that's as much as I've, I've, I've uh, used uh, for this short front. So I've come to the end of today's sharing of Haze Blue from the Haze series. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like to see similar content and uh, hit that notification bell um, if you like to uh, be notified when I have a new video. Uh, I will normally release a video on a Sunday morning, uh, wee, wee hours of the morning. But of course, um, yeah, do, do watch out uh, for, for, for that. Just hit that notification bell. <laughs> and you don't have to remember the, the time. So yeah, okay. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.